All right, what's going on guys? Brandon Harding here. Hope you're having a great day. Underwent a bit of a fiasco. Essentially, as I was flying, it was about, I guess like 200 meters down the street and the controller actually disconnected while the drone was still in the air. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like drones these days are like, you can't break them, you can't crash them, you can't lose them because it literally flew back to the point of origin, which is where I launched it just outside the door. Almost skimmed the building because I took the sensors off because when you take the sensors off, it can fly a little bit faster. I personally think it's worth it because it's fun. We almost lost the drone, my child. This is the closest thing I have to a child. We are just at the HG Muscle Warehouse and there's been some upgrades to this place ever since you last saw it. So I'm gonna show you what's been going down right now. Bunch of the guys chilling in the warehouse. We got Chevy right here, Mariah, and we got Geordie. She's not dead, she's in fact alive. We're actually charging the uh, drone <laughs> charger right now. The drone battery, sorry. Charger, oh my God, what I'm saying, the drone controller. Oh my God. We've honestly just been chilling in the office at the HD Muscle Warehouse talking about plans of the future and that kind of thing. Right behind me, we've actually got the first like upgrade. A HD Muscle sign that has like been installed on the wall. So it's the first thing you see when you walk in. First room, obviously, is the office. <laughs> and then you walk through this door. This is the warehouse itself. We've got the main man right over here getting it done. Noah. New HD muscle sign on the wall. All we got left to add is the HD muscle wording. We've got some like sofas and stuff to chill. All these here are future products ready to be racked. More boxes down this side of the wall. This is all the clothing and the merchandise for Pure Muscle and Fitness, the gym that we all train at. And then right here, we actually have some racking that has just been installed. Black pre-workout that's only available in America. Tanks in black and in white. Carb HD, Intra HD, EAAs. And this is pretty much where all of the shipping goes down. These are all the boxes is for the supplements. We've got these little stickers to put on all the packages before they get sent out. And we actually have these cards too, which some of the athletes actually sign and send out like anonymously with some of the products, which is pretty cool. Business ideas and random things that people need to know about. Pretty much it, all of the orders and products that were meant to be shipped out today have already been done, hence why no one's actually shipping anything out right now because it's all been taken care of. Right now, the plan is I'm gonna get a meal in, hit a workout in about two hours time at the mansion gym. I I'm not sure what, I'm not actually sure what I'm training yet. And I'm actually gonna be talking about food intake, supplement intake, all that kind of thing in this video because everything has actually been slightly increased, which is actually pretty interesting. I'm gonna speak of that in this video too. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Second meal of the day. It's 100 grams cream of rice, 100 grams blueberries. Was meant to have protein, but again, I've ran out. What else is in this thing? Oh, 20 grams of almond butter Some as salt. well. And it, yeah, I put salt in it too. I put like a couple cracks of pink Himalayan just for the just for the sodium pump. We're explaining to Mariah what odds are, like the game odds are. So me and Mariah are going to do odds are for the first time. You never done this before, right? No. no. We're actually going to do everyone. We're going to do Geordie, no. Chevy, no. and you first. All right. Okay. So I actually wish you off. Throw it in the road if we say the same number. Three, two, one, and then guess a number between one and ten. Don't okay. try to say the same number because you don't pick want to do it. Pick a number that you don't think I'll pick between one and ten. Three, Three two, two, one, nine. Oh, two. save. Okay, Geordie, I'm the same. Shoe in the road. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one, seven. Four. Like Three, two, one, two. Oh. Noah, it's odds time. Yeah, get involved. Odds? Have you played odds are? <laughs> if we say the same number, you're throwing your shoe in the road. Okay, so, to, hold on. <laughs> that was so quick. Yeah. At the same oh, tempo that I did the countdown. The yeah. same number. But if it was like something like really dangerous, like damage yourself. We say this in our, I gotta do something crazy. By the way, I'm not guessing two. <laughs> I saw you do that. <laughs> Subliminal messaging. Anyway, <laughs> you're messing with the wrong guy. Okay, three, two, one, seven. Come on. You gotta say it. Ready? Three, two, one, two. Oh. Three, two, one, five. Oh, one number off. Just taking a step outside the warehouse. I wanted to show you something really quickly. As you know, my time in Canada, I've been renting the same car, which is like a white BMW. Never rented a BMW before. Love the way it drives. Honestly, continue to rent it because I was having such a good time driving it. But ran into a bit of an issue. While you rent cars on Churro in the summertime, they become like extremely more expensive. I don't know why the percentage goes up by like 30%. No one's actually renting cars, but Churro doesn't recognize that. So they're still increasing the prices of their cars. I'm spending like way too much money renting a car when obviously I'm still paying off a car back in the UK over my finance my little red polo R line is like 150 a month so I changed the car yesterday to a different BMW it's actually faster for some reason even though I think it's like a, a less sporty model it's a 2010 7 series the one I previously had was a three door 2017 4 series a bit more sporty with the three doors this one has five doors as you can see but these freaking wheels are absolutely massive like this car seemingly is like so much faster and more powerful but this this is the one that I've got the interior is quite similar to the other one it's got a bit more of an old school leather 
leather steering wheel. This is what the console area is looking like. Really, really happy with this. The reason that I wanted to switch was because I was just spending too much on the other car. By renting this for 42 days, opposed to the other one, I've saved over a thousand Canadian, which is about 600 pounds. Clearly, it's a no brainer. Obviously, it makes more sense to have this car. That's just a bit of an update on the car that I'm driving right now. <laughs> Are you training? Nah. Cheers, Arrested. Cheers, Arrested. Cheers, Arrested. You've got the turbo. <laughs> Shit. All set. <laughs> Show <laughs> me. <laughs> I love her. Bye, Ren. Oh, that wasn't even her question. I know, I know that. <laughs> so, what are we doing now? Train time. Train time. Not actually too sure what I'm training right now because about four days ago, while recording a HD Muscle YouTube video that's going live on their channel, I tried a six plate deadlift in the morning, which I never do. I never ever deadlift in the morning. And I pulled my lower left disc a little bit. <laughs> But you, in the mirror, are a bitch. And if you don't get it, you're gonna continue to be one. Breathe, come on. Come on, boy! can get it. It's all good. Oh, my back. That didn't feel great. It's causing me a little bit of pain. I've had to stretch like every morning since I did it. It was like two days ago. But if I train legs right now, which I'm meant to train legs, training at the mansion too, there's all I can really do is squat, which is the worst for my lower back. Or I could stiff leg deadlift again, terrible for the lower back. So I'm probably gonna have to try into my upper body instead and let my lower back heal because the last thing I want is to like injure myself further and then just be unable to train for the next six to seven years. Maneuvering the bags. Did you prep meals? I have a banana and a protein shake. It's I ate my post-workout meal. meal. Prep. <laughs> you know, I've been on prep for two days now. Wasn't you on prep before for like 24 yeah. weeks? <laughs> I feel like everyone had that necessary diet break, so everyone that was prepping for like, in Jordy's case, like 24 weeks. We start, we're starting again. <sighs> If you watched the last video, you'll know that we were training at Pure Muscle and Fitness, but things have arisen. The screen just turned off for no reason. Things have, we, we just can't train there right now. So we're back at the mansion. Sweet! I realize we've all got the same camera now, like, Val's <laughs> hiding. <laughs> Yeah, who's the balloons? For my birthday. You missed it. No, it's not. It's in four days. <laughs> As you can see, Val has also upgraded the camera game. She's got the EOS RP, very similar to mine and Geordie's. Geordie's also got the same one as me, the EOS R B no, YouTube camera. That's my name is like Brandon. Hard done. Hard done. You can't even say my name. You still didn't even know my name. <laughs> it is. Wait, what did you just say? You just found an arm workout for like 14 year old boys. Yeah, no, it's for 16 year old boys. Yeah. 16 year old boys. Yeah. Yo, they DM me the most. They send me the most messages. It's weird. How do you grow arms like this? <laughs> Come to. The plan is right now is we're going to hit a workout inside the garage. But as I said earlier, can't train legs and I'm going to squat or sit like dead. If I really do anything, it's going to like hinder my lower back. So I've come to the conclusion that my shoulders, back and chest, buys and tries, pretty much all hurt. So we're just going to do like an upper body pump. We did get these shakers ordered and a bunch of them came in. I'm not really too sure about the yellow on top. It looks a bit like, not cheap, but like childish. I kind of like one tone of these and just like maybe it would look cool if there was a bit of yellow on the side, like printed. There's a big difference between these two shakers. This one is like, it's a blender bottle and it's super hard plastic. You can squeeze it really, really hard. You could like drop it on the floor and throw it and it just wouldn't break. I'm not sure what happened with the manufacturers, but we're actually going to switch from this plastic that we got to the blender bottle material because you can kind of put your thumb in it and it's like, it's already cracked. So we're not going to be shipping any of them out. I don't think because we want the quality to be as high as it can be. We're basically sacking off all the shit so it can be as good as it should be. And I have one scoop of the Ultra HD sour gummy, obviously. What we're we going to do about music, do you want to put the speaker on? I'll connect my phone to it in a second. It's sick how it just dissolves as well, the pre-workout when you put it in water. I can't believe this is even happening. Frick. Oh. I don't even want to like talk about it that much because it's annoying. Essentially, I just did one set standing side lateral raise and through like picking up the dumbbells and like putting them down and even like swinging a little bit doing the reps, my left disc is like, <laughs> it's, it's hard to explain. It's not just like having like a bad shoulder or like a bad elbow. It's like the core of your like foundation. I'm going to be smart for once in my entire existence and call it a day on this session. 
and maybe have like a day off or two days off or something. Wouldn't that be something new, man? I don't want to listen to my body. I want to get a pump. What do you think I should do? If someone has an injury, I'm going to tell them not to work out. Popped my two ribs out, pulled my back at the beginning of last year, and I was out for about three months. I don't want to be out for three months. Yeah, but you're okay. So even though the gym is going to be left completely, pretty much untouched today, we still have a lot to talk about in this video. I'm going to have my post-workout meal that I brought with me, and then head back to my place, get changed, because Dorian, the guy that owns HD Muscle in partnership with Noah, is actually having a bit of a gathering at his place tonight. So a couple of friends are getting together, going around his place, for a bit of a barbecue and then after that i'm going to dive into the main topic of this video which is me increasing the stack following the diet <laughs> eating my prep meals i'm not even eating that one dude i'm eating this five minutes yeah i'm eating that i might have one yeah okay yeah, grab a plate that's cut in half. It's delicious. Bye. Oh, stupid. Let's eat mine. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's up? 10 out of 10. 10? Really? So that's the best cookie. Have ever. it, yeah. Give my fucking jam in it. So, what? Uh, PBG? Is this on your diet plan? Oh, yeah. My coach is right there. I mean, he is. <laughs> he proved it. Another cheat meal tomorrow, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like, it's like a hot tub, right? 16 degrees and you're 17 degrees. Cody, you, you getting in? Tub. Yeah, I'm just looking for D for sure. Do you want it? You can share this with me if you want. We can like take a side each. Take a leg? Yeah, we both got no legs anyway, so. So such a freaking good night with everyone. Honestly, like I wasn't expecting that many people to be at Dorian's. Obviously, everyone was celebrating his birthday that was on Thursday. Today is Sunday. Today was just the day that everyone could get together. But like seeing Regan and Victoria, I didn't think they would be there. But obviously, like having everyone together to celebrate his birthday was honestly sick. There was so much food there. I did have one of the burgers because they just looked too juicy. Like I, I would have been doing myself a disservice by not indulging in one of the burgers. But like nothing too crazy. Like I definitely could have done a lot more damage than I did do. We have the second last meal of the day. We have some steak. Steak, asparagus, 300 grams of sweet potato. I've also got some pickle mixed in too with the steak just because I had some like pickles in the fridge. Right now, I'm gonna be speaking about the topic of this video, which is almost like the changes to my plan because my supplementation and my stack has been slightly changed because I'm only actually gonna be in Canada now for the next 42-ish days, about six weeks in total. It's sad to say, but obviously having the opportunity right now to train at Pure Muscle and at the mansion, I'm in the perfect situation right now to continue making progress because when I go back to the UK, Callum, my coach, has a facility in Nottingham. So I'm gonna to have to allocate like two and a half hours of driving just to be able to train when I go back to the UK. The plan that I have right now has been tailored to my final six weeks here in Canada to essentially optimize my time here while I have access to the gym. I think when I go back, I'm gonna be on like a three day split because like driving every single day, so I might do it, it depends how far it is, but I think I'm just gonna do a push pull legs and then like a couple workouts at home. I'm gonna figure it all out when I go back to the UK, but um, right now I'm just trying to optimize my time while I'm here. And basically these are the changes to the plan. I actually have both plans in front of me right now. The plan that I received yesterday versus the one I have been following for the past few weeks. Calories on a training day. I'm only gonna go over the training day calories and macros because I don't wanna, I don't wanna like just babble on about this too much. My training plan is the one I follow the majority of the time being on a five to six day split. Calories were on 3,576 and my macros exactly for that were 273 protein, 465 carb and 56 fat. So a pretty hefty plan to be honest on like three and a half thousand calories. In terms of my supplementation, I haven't actually spoke about this yet. Injectables per week. I'm not gonna like talk about when and how I split it up, like too many details. Essentially, I'm just gonna tell you what the like the weekly overview looks like. We have 450 test, 300 primo and 300 mast. Pretty basic cycle, nothing too crazy, no high doses. This is like honestly the most basic thing ever. For orals, I'm actually taking 0.5 mgs of arimidex two times a week um, just to control the estrogen levels. We don't wanna be uh, having any mental breakdowns or gyno 
or acne or anything crazy like that, um, just to stay on the safe side. The overall plan for me optimizing my like time here is to not drastically like come out of prep. We're gonna like re very, very slowly increase like my calories. So the drastic, so the increase hasn't actually been that crazy. And supplementation wise, there has also been a slight increase of about 20 to 30% of the stack, which is gonna be pretty interesting because it's a dose I've actually never taken before. The current calories are 3,964. So an increase of about four to 500 calories, which isn't too crazy. It's definitely like not gonna throw my body out of whack. And those calories are made up of 282 grams of protein, 550 carb, which is quite high, and fat increased to 71 grams in total. 600 test, 400 primo, and again, 300 mass. So primo has been slightly increased. Mass has stayed the same, but test has been increased from 450 to 600. 450, 500 is all I've ever taken in the past. I've never ever like done like a crazy cycle. So all the progress I've made in the past. I mean, I know people that cruise on 750 test and like take over a gram of test, but just generally like this by, by no means like is a crazy cycle. 600 is the most test I've ever taken. It's been about three days right now with the slight increase and already I can like feel things happening. I don't know what my lifting situation or how like easy that's gonna be when I do go back to the UK in the next 42 days. And obviously being in the prime position right now to grow and to progress and to like be in just like the best environment to make the most progress. So I guess we're just like really rinsing my time in Canada right now for everything and every opportunity that I do have here. The lower back thing today did honestly suck because I was excited to work out. I'm going to eat my meal and uh, do a little bit of work. I might even edit a little bit of this video. So if you enjoyed it, please smash the like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. What's up guys? As you can see, only one third of people that watch these videos actually subscribe. So I'd really appreciate it if you do enjoy these videos to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And if you're feeling generous, smash the like. I'd really appreciate it.